Hey there, I'm Victoria and in this video I will talk about 10 ways to fix empty response error on Google Chrome. Let's go! The empty response error typically occurs when the web browser sends a request to the server but fails to respond. Common reasons for this error include general technical difficulties or undergoing maintenance in the server. Sometimes the error occurs when the server experiences a temporary glitch. Refreshing your browser page will solve the issue if that's the case. If the error persists, let's go over the other 10 ways to solve it on Google Chrome. A weak or unstable network can block the browser's connection to the server. The first and simplest solution to this issue is ensuring your internet connection works fine. Restart your router by turning it off and back on after a minute. Outdated or corrupted browsing data such as cookies and cache can cause the error. Accessing the site in incognito can be alternative to troubleshooting the error, as it doesn't store browsing data or history. Click the three dots menu button in the right corner of Google Chrome and choose new incognito window to enter incognito mode. Clearing your browsing data can solve the error if you can access the site in incognito mode. Go to settings, click on privacy and security, then clear browsing data. Select all time, tick the cookies and other site data option and cached images and files. Finally, click clear data. Besides browsing data, Chrome add-ons or extensions can cause such conflicts, leading to an empty response from the server. Try disabling them temporarily to see if it fixes the problem. Click the extension icon on your Chrome toolbar and choose Manage Extensions. Deactivate Chrome extensions by clicking the toggle buttons. Once you've disabled all your extensions, try to access the site again and see if that did the trick. If successful, enable your extensions individually while refreshing the site in between. Using an older version of Chrome tends to cause compatibility or configuration issues, triggering the error. To check if your browser needs an update, click the ellipsis button, select Help, and click About Chrome. If the browser is up to date, move on to the next step. However, if you're using an older version, it will display Update Google Chrome. To finish the process, relaunch your browser. Alternatively, you can reinstall it entirely to get a clean copy of Google Chrome. If updating or reinstalling Google Chrome doesn't solve the issue, try resetting the Winsock catalog. For Windows users, you can reset it via the command prompt. To do that, type command prompt in the search bar and right-click on it. Choose Run as Administrator. You might see a pop-up message asking permission to change your computer preferences. Click Yes. Once a command prompt window opens, enter the following command. You'll find it in the description below, so simply copy and paste it. Hit Enter and afterward, reset the Windows Sockets interface by typing the following command. Click Enter once more, and now restart the computer to implement these changes. For Mac users, you can do this without accessing the command line interface. Go to System Settings and select Network. Click on your internet connection, it should be the one labeled as connected. Now click Details and go to the TCP slash IP tab. Hit the Renew DHCP Lease button to finish the process. If previous steps still didn't solve the error, try flushing the DNS cache. For Windows users, the steps are similar to resetting the WinSock catalog. Open the command prompt using the Run as Administrator option. Type ipconfig slash flush DNS, then hit Enter. Restart your computer to implement the change. Now let's move on to macOS. First, ensure you know your OS version. If you haven't already, click the Apple icon from your desktop, then click About this Mac. Next, open the command terminal by pressing the F4 key and entering terminal into the Spotlight search field. Run the command for your macOS version by adding it to the command terminal and hitting Return. In the description below, I've listed commands for numerous macOS versions, so you just need to copy the one you need from there. Sometimes you may also see a prompt asking you for your admin password. If so, insert your password, click return, and you are all set. After flushing the DNS cache, you can try resetting your IP address if you still see the error message. For Windows, the initial steps remain the same. Open the command prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the command line, type ipconfig slash release, then click Enter. 
Once the prompt returns, type the IP config slash renew and click enter again. Quit the command prompt and restart the computer to complete the process. For Mac, click the Apple button, System Preferences, and choose Network. Select your method of connecting to the Internet. Now click Details and navigate to the TCP slash IP tab and click Renew DHCP lease. Click OK and restart the computer to implement the change. Your Internet service provider usually uses its own DNS servers. However, you can change this temporarily. If the previous methods haven't worked, change your DNS server to the Google Public's DNS. Go to Network and Internet Settings, select Network and Sharing Center, and change Adapter Settings. Click your connection and select Properties. Double-click Internet Protocol version 4. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. Under the preferred DNS server, enter 8.8.8.8. Then under the alternate DNS server, 8.8.4.4. Click OK to confirm the changes. If you use macOS, go to System Settings. Click on the Network tab, select your connection, and click the Details button. Go to DNS tab, then click the plus button. Enter 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 to add Google Public DNS. Press OK to implement the changes. Sometimes your security software can prevent the browser from receiving a response from the server. Temporarily disable your computer's firewall or antivirus software to fix this issue. I don't recommend permanently disabling your firewall or antivirus software as it will make your computer vulnerable to cyber threats while browsing the internet. The steps to turning off your antivirus vary according to what software you're using, so check the official documentation. Let's see how to disable the firewall on Windows and Mac OS. On Windows, click Start and go to Settings. Under Update and Security, select Windows Security and select Firewall and Network Protection. Select your network profile, Domain, Private or Public Network. Switch the Microsoft Defender Firewall to Off. For Mac, go to System Settings and click Network. Toggle the button to disable your firewall. If that solves empty response error, reset your firewall or antivirus settings to default. That's how you solve empty response error on Google Chrome. Like and share this video if you find it useful and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.